It wouldn't be a federal budget without grumblings from state premiers, all jostling for a bigger slice of the pie. For Daniel Andrews, being shortchanged on infrastructure has always been his main complaint. This time round, the Premier's response to the numbers from his Canberra colleagues sounds more positive, to a point. The decade of, 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 of rip-off is over, and that's very good. That's a very, very good thing. Now, we won't get carried away, though. We've got a long list. There's a lot of catch-up. But there's scant detail about federal cash for Victoria's major projects. There's no mention of the long-awaited airport rail, nor the North East Link. Those projects and hundreds others are under federal review. There wasn't a cent for Victoria's Con Games in the budget. Those games will be staged a whole six years earlier than the Brisbane Olympics, which had billions allocated in this budget. The boost to Medicare might help to ease pressure on Victoria's health system, but there's been a sizeable loss to hospitals due to the end of COVID payments. Once again, the GST carve-up falls short for Victoria. We'll get one-fifth of the bucket even though we're home to a quarter of all Australians. In two weeks' time, Victoria will deliver its own budget and there'll be no surprise surplus to help offset our net debt that's now rocketed past $104 billion and rising. That'll mean there's some pain. Not everybody will like that. But that's what has to be done. You can't, year after year after year, spend more than you receive. And that's been the MO of this government for a, a solid nine years and it's coming home to roost. Something's got to give. It's a problem of their creation and they've got to fix it. Last year's state election commitments will be honoured, but other services, staff and projects face delay and the chop, prompting questions about Labor's financial management.